Your search strategy is the plan you create for trying to find resources on your research topic. In this tutorial, we will talk about different ways to construct your search strategy. Before you can create a search strategy, you need to have an idea about the topic you are interested in. If you haven't decided yet, you may want to watch our tutorial on choosing a topic first. Once you have your topic, you can break your idea down into keywords. For example, let's say we are researching how using social media affects relationships. My keywords might start out as social media and relationships. From here, you can start to think of other related terms that you might want to try. These can be synonyms for your terms or just other closely related ideas. If you're having a hard time with this step, it can be helpful to complete a search using the library's discovery search and see what kind of terms are used in the results. You can browse to the results screen, focusing on the titles and the subject headings mentioned in each record. Or you can select subjects and view the different subject headings with terms that will most likely relate to your research topic. Based on words used in article titles and subject headings, you may discover other search terms you can use. Add these to your list. Next, depending on your topic, you may find that you are getting way too many or way too few results. If you have too many results, it can help to try more specific search terms. For example, social media could be made more specific by changing our term to Facebook. Relationships can be more specific if we change that to romantic relationships. If you're getting too few results, you may want to try more general terms. For example, social media can become a broader topic if you change it to internet or technology. Relationships can become a broader topic if you change your search term to interactions. Our search for social media and relationships is providing quite a few results. This is one I would choose to make my search a little more specific. To do that, I would change relationships to romantic relationships and see if it reduces the number of results. Sometimes while you are trying all of these different search strategies, you may come upon terms that can help you define your research or even guide you in a new direction. That's okay. Write down anything that you'd like to follow up on. For example, while looking through our results, I saw some articles about social media and jealousy in relationships. I also noticed that some of the articles focus on different age groups. Those are a few avenues I might want to pursue in my research. In addition to choosing the right search terms, there are a few general search tips that can make it easier for you to find the results you're looking for. One is using quotation marks. Putting your term in quotation marks tells the search engine to search for the words as an exact phrase and not just the individual words. For our search, I would put the terms social media and romantic relationships in quotations to ensure that I'm only getting results where the two terms are mentioned together. Using this strategy generally reduces the number of results you'll receive for a search. Another strategy you can use is truncation. Using an asterisk after the base of your search word can help find variants of that word. For example, if you search psycho with an asterisk at the end, you'll find the terms psychology, psychologist, psychoanalysis, and psychosis. Another option is to use Boolean searching. Boolean searching uses different connecting words to change the results of your search. Using AND as a connector will search only for results that contain both of the terms in your search. So when we searched for social media and relationships, we were using this strategy our results were all about both of those keywords together. OR tells the search engine to look for results that contain either term. To use our search as an example, if we felt like we weren't getting enough results just searching social media and relationships, we could search for social media OR social networking and relationships. This would find us any articles that use the term social media OR social networking and relationships. NOT tells the search engine to look for one term while excluding any results that mention another term. For example, if we wanted results about social media and relationships, but we didn't want to include any results related to Facebook, we could search for social media and relationships, not Facebook. To review, 
Start by turning your topic into searchable keywords and some synonyms. If you get stuck, it might help to complete a search and look for terms that could help you. If you're getting too many results, you can try some more specific terms. If you're getting too few results, try a more general term. Keep track of any other terms and ideas as you search. Use our search tips to help you get the best results. One of the most important things to remember is that your first attempts at searching may not be successful, but that you can use those results to help you create new and better searches. As always, if you have any questions or would like to talk with a librarian, you can contact the library at any time.